how's it going? Thanks for checking out this video. In today's video, we are going to be going over what build I'm gonna be doing on my C8 Corvette, what mods I'm gonna be adding to it. We've just barely even scratched the surface with just adding a air filter, um, if that even did anything. I feel like it did something just from driving around the past couple of weeks with it on. But here's kind of what, I'm just gonna get right into it. Um, here's exactly what I'm thinking about adding on to my C8 Corvette as of right now with, with the shop that I'm gonna be working with. So we're thinking about adding headers, a cold air intake, a ported manifold, and a throttle body. And then maybe eventually I would add on like a Paragon Performance Exhaust. But for now, I think I'm just gonna do that. That alone will add around, let me, let me see, I took notes on all this stuff. That alone would probably add around, so the headers, we're going with American Racing headers. That'll add around 30, 37 horsepower. Um, the ported throttle body will add around 20 horsepower. The cold air intake, maybe 10 to 15 horsepower. Um, so let's just say 30, 40, 50, 60-ish. Um, and then we're also gonna be doing the intake manifold, I think is what I said, let me check. Um, yeah, so cold air intake, ported manifold, and then the throttle body. So the ported manifold, we'll see what that does. Um, but, you know, anywhere from 50 maybe to 70 horsepower added on to everything the shop that i'm going to is a shop down here in florida that has worked on their own c8 and a couple of their c8s and they've gotten their quarter mile time down to like a 10 which is insane or like a 10 2 or something and that's without an exhaust that's without a tune that's literally just with the stuff that i'm talking about the only difference that they did is they took off the cats and they did some other minor things, but essentially it's what I'm gonna be getting. Um, so that's super cool. I'm, this is gonna be a really short video and I just wanted to ask all you uh, that have been engaging, interacting with my content in the past couple of weeks, in the past month, do you think that's a good kind of setup? I've talked to some people, they've loved it. Uh, it's nothing crazy. It's a really good cohesive set of mods, right? Like they all work together very, very well. Um, versus just slapping an exhaust on. That'll be great, it'll add power, um, but when it's all said and done, who knows how well it'll work with everything else. Whereas doing something like this will be a very good cohesive set of mods that really bring the whole package together. The other thing I wanted to talk about is the C8 Z06 versus getting a Stingray and modding that, right? So uh, let's talk about that here in just a second when I get to where I need to go. I love being able to just hit this button right here pop it in Z mode, green light. And then just go. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. So that's really the question is modded Stingray versus base C8 Z06. We'll say C8 Z06 with the uh, Z07 package, right? So it's not necessarily base, but Z06 versus modded Stingray. Personally, if you're gonna go for a Z06 right now, and say you really want one, right? Like for me, that's what I would want to do. I'd get, I'd get a Z06 right now, right? I'm not the kind that has really great patience. So with that being said, say you go to get a C8 Z06 right now. If you get it almost maxed out, so say around $150,000, $160,000, before dealer markup, you're gonna pay, be paying quite a bit more than a Stingray, right? Whereas with the Stingray, say you get one that's similar to mine, say you get like a 3LT, fully topped out C51, um, you're sitting at around 80, maybe $90,000, right? Then, say you put, and I've talked with the shop, that everything that I'm getting done will be around 4,000, 4,500 bucks, right? Which I don't think is horrible. Say you put another $5,000 on top of that. So say you get your car, it's 90 grand, worst case scenario, uh, that's around what mine was and then say you put another $10,000 of mods on it, that'll get it really, really good, right? That'll get it pretty close, if not hitting 600 horsepower, which sure, it's not the same horsepower as the C8 Z06, the C8 will have more, but this will probably have more torque than it, um, and it'll probably be able to do the exact same quarter mile times, if not even better. The shop where I'm going to, they modded out their Stingray, like full out as much as they could go, and they were doing 10 twos, I'm pretty sure. 
um, and I'll link their shop and their Instagram page below because I want you guys to check it out so you guys can see what this car is actually capable of. I'm sure some of you maybe have already seen it before, but it's super cool. So I think there's a huge thing there. And then, you know, say with all those mods in, all in, you're around 110, let's just say $110,000 worst case scenario. That's not that bad. You're talking about something that daily, when you're just driving around, you're probably gonna beat everything you see. You take it to the track, it's gonna be a very well-balanced, unique car that will probably do extremely well against everything else out there on the track. And you'll have something that's gonna go up against the C8Z06 and do really, really well. So that's just something to think about. Um, obviously, I'm probably a little bit biased because that's literally what I'm doing to my car. But overall, it's a tough decision. And I think for someone maybe that doesn't have a ton of cash and maybe they were hoping to get the C8Z06, but it's just really too much. The Stingray is an amazing package, right? Compared to a ton of other cars in that same price point, and even compared to the C8Z06, it's not like it looks a ton different. Sure, the power difference is there, but if you just add a couple, you know, five, ten thousand dollars in mods, <clears throat> you're gonna be knocking at its door, um, you know, close to that power. And on top of that, you know, power doesn't mean a ton if you can perform the same, right, and, and have less power. Who cares about the power if you can perform about the same, if not better, right? So um, I'm gonna, you know, actually check out some of the times here from the shop where I'm going to, compare them to the CAZ06 and just see what we're kind of talking about. Cause I think I know some of the times, but I wanna be spot on and give you guys some really good information. Okay, so let's go over some of these numbers really quickly here. So the C8Z06 with the Z07 package will do zero to 60 in 2.6 seconds and the quarter mile and around 10.6 is what I've been seeing. And I don't know if GM's officially reported those numbers, but I think it's gonna be pretty close to that. This Corvette here, and I'll pull up the screenshot and all credit goes to Jose and I'll put uh, their Instagram link uh, right below in the description because this is the shop that I'm gonna be going to. So I'm really excited to be going to their shop. I'm really grateful that they're gonna be doing this work on my car. I'm excited for that and I'm gonna be documenting the entire process. Their C8, now my mods won't be all of this stuff, but their C8, and it's possible to get it down to a 10.3 at the quarter mile at 129 miles an hour, right? So that's pretty crazy. That's faster than the C8Z06 by a couple points of a second, right? And it's going by at 129 miles an hour. That's not bad at all. And let me actually just go over a couple more numbers. That's what I think of a wheel horsepower of, Tell you guys right now 523 horsepower at the wheels and they did multiple 10 second runs which is crazy stock axle stock clutch stock heads cam and ecu they just ran the oem let me tell you guys really quickly because i want to get you guys all these numbers because it's super cool and it's very exciting to me um let's see here real quick so stock axles stock clutches OEM ported intake manifold headers, American racing headers, and intake box and a race exhaust. So the only difference between mine and theirs for that specific build that they did would be the um, sport exhaust. I'm not gonna get an exhaust as of right now, but eventually maybe I will. So I think this is super exciting if my car can pull off, you know, around, a, even if it's around a 10 second quarter mile time, that would be insane. It's such a cool car. So I'm super excited to mod this up. Like I've told you guys in the previous video, we just did a uh, air filter. Obviously the windows are tinted, it got some carbon fiber pieces, but now we're really gonna be modifying this thing. We're gonna be adding those racing headers. We're gonna be adding the ported throttle body and intake manifold. We're gonna be adding a full cold air intake. And I think that's the biggest thing for now. We're gonna get probably close to 530. 520 horsepower maybe if I'm being conservative. So that's gonna be super cool. I'm really excited to see the results of this. I'm definitely gonna go take it to the track. I'm gonna see what zero to 60s I can get. I've gotten a 2.8 in this. Um, so I'm confident that we can get it even lower and we can probably beat the C8Z06's 2.6. Um, and then I'm sure we can even beat the C8Z06's quarter mile time. So super excited for that. Really excited to take you guys along with me. It's starting to rain and getting loud the plane flying over but I'm gonna do some quick I'm gonna do one quick 0 to 60 pull out here show you guys that 
and that's it. So give me your feedback. I'm really excited to hear your guys' feedback on all of this. Um, like I said, getting these mods done here soon. I'm gonna hop inside to close up the windows, but getting these mods here done soon. So I'd love to hear your feedback on everything. Um, I've gotten a lot of feedback already and I really appreciate everyone's feedback as well. Uh, whether you do own a Corvette or not. All that's appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's just go do this run real quick before I get soaked. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna be keeping the car in sport and I'm just gonna be doing it in competitive mode. It's crazy, I've had some of my better runs for zero to 60s, let me put the timer. Um, I've had some of my better runs in zero to 60s just in sport mode and competitive versus going to track and doing like, you know, wet, dry, uh, sport one, sport two, and race, which is pretty surprising. So there we go, camera focused. So super interesting. Let's do this real quick. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. All right. If you guys can see, it's a little wet out now. It just started raining and I'm gonna pull this off right now and let's see how it does. All right. <laughs> 3.2, I'll take it. It started pouring, like right as I took off. Or as I took off and the rain got quicker. Who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.